This is my story about Andy Moody, the man, the myth, the legend. My story begins way back round about 1988 when I first saw Andy Moody at a nightclub in Humberston called the Flamingo. I remember looking over at Andy with immense jealousy and thinking, So yes, as you can imagine, the friendship wasn't love exactly at first sight. I think the thing with me and Andy was we were both very much alike. We both liked to dance, we were both show-offs, and we also seemed to attract the same women. I often remember being stood there, talking to some girl, and Andy would walk past and give her that look. My instant reaction to that was... Anyway, this is where the story really begins. So myself, Jason Downs and Flynn Stokes were heading to Middlesbrough to an all-night rave. There was a spare seat in the car and we were thinking, who can we bring? So we thought, what about Andy Moody? He's a cool guy, but we don't really like him. Yeah, but he's a cool guy. So shall we ask him? Yeah, go on then. So I rang Andy and simply said. Bizarrely enough, Andy agreed to come along with us. But I'm sure in reality he was feeling. So, being the nice guy that I am, I reassured Andy by saying to him. So, the date was set, and we was on our way to pick Andy up. So, I remember pulling up outside Andy's and giving him a bib. Out come Andy, wearing purple trousers, a bright yellow top, flip-up sunglasses, and bleach blonde hair. So, we headed to Middlesbrough, we had an amazing time, and this was the start of an amazing friendship. So, from that day on, me and Andy became best mates. And we stopped sharing the same women. <laughs> well, some of them. We DJed together at nights at the Flam and Tokyo Joe's, and one of our best memories was bringing the prodigy to Grimsby. Trips away to clubs in Hull, Sheffield, Skegness and Nottingham, to just name a few, filled our teenage years with some amazing times. Then in the early 90s, Andy moved away to London, and I remember thinking, Anyway, it wasn't long and Andy was back in Grimsby and we both started work at a club called The Waterfront. Now that place could tell some stories, but we won't go there. We both continued DJing and entertaining the crowds together, but due to relationships, we didn't see as much of each other. Then in 2001, we both became single at the same time and decided to get a flat together on Cleethorpe Seafront. Well, actually, it was more like... We had some great times at that flat, and the word soon spread around. So, the boys were most definitely back in town and single and ready to mingle. After all...
Look, I'm not saying we were tarts or anything. Let's just say the more you do something, the better you become at it. I like to call it mastering the craft. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's fast forward now a few years to 2005, when Andy meets the girl of his dreams in Cheryl. So they first met in Weatherspoons on the riverhead in Grimsby. Cheryl spotted Andy among a group and was instantly attracted to the smartly dressed man. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? <laughs> anyway, they often bumped into each other, and one night they shared a lift into Cleeports, and this was where they shared their first kiss. After all, one kiss is all it takes. In love with me. You need. And this was the beginning of their amazing friendship and loving relationship. And so from 2005 onwards, I'm sure we've all shared some amazing memories with both Andy and Cheryl. Now in 2013, me and Andy hooked up again behind the decks, when together with John Curtin, we decided to do a night called Better Days. The night was an absolute success story, and over four years, we had the chance to DJ alongside some of our idols from years ago, and not only meet these guys, but also become good friends with a lot of them. Here is just a few words from some of these guys. Hi, this is Alistair Whitehead. Just wanted to wish Andy and Cho all the best on their big day. Hi there, everyone. This is Brandon. Hope you're all well. Have a lovely day. Wishing Andy and Cheryl all the very best. It's the all new Mr. and Mrs. Moody. Congratulations. Oh. Hi, CJ McIntosh here. Just wanted to wish Andy and Cheryl all the best on their big day. Hi, this is Danny Rampling here, wishing Andy and Cheryl all the best for your big day and wishing you many, many happy years together. Congratulations, guys. Much love. Hi, Andy. Hi, Cheryl. This is Graham Park here to wish you all the very best and congratulations and big love on your wedding day. I hope you have a fantastic time and I hope you have a great marriage together. Personally, I'm a big fan of marriage. When you find the right person, it's absolutely superb. I've been married for 18 years. Anyway, hope you have a great honeymoon, hope you have a great life together, and hopefully I'll see you on a dance floor soon. Bye -bye. Hi, this is Jeremy Healy wishing Andy and Cheryl all the best as the new Mr. and Mrs. Moody. Cheers. Hi, Andy and Cheryl, this is John Kelly, wishing you all the best on your day. But by the way, look who's with me. Hiya, congratulations, all the best. Off Danny boy! Oh, yeah. We both love you. Have a great day. We're in the beat and we'll take them out of the good one ourselves. <laughs> Hello there, this is John Page Women, wishing Andy and Cheryl a fabulous wedding day. Hi, this is Seb Fontaine, just wanted to wish Andy and Cheryl all the best on their big day. Go we'll check it out, Ty Terry in the house, wishing Andy and Cheryl all the best. See you soon, Mr. and Mrs. Moody, yeah. Evening all, this is Grant Nelson. Hope you're all having a lovely time. Just popped in quickly to wish Andy and Cheryl all the best on their big day and all the happiness that the world has to offer for the future. Have a fantastic one, guys. Love you loads. Hello, this is DJ Sneak. Sending all my love to Andy and Cheryl on the wedding day today. Big love. Hi, this is Marshall Jefferson, the godfather of house music, and I'm here to wish Andy and Cheryl a happy wedding and a happy marriage. I've been best man at 10 weddings. And, uh, for the wedding gift, I have two magic words that will make your uh, marriage a happy one, it, uh, particularly for Andy. If you say these two magic words, it'll be smooth sailing the whole marriage. And those two magic words are, okay, honey. All you have to say is, okay, honey, and everything will be okay. Smooth sailing. Okay, honey. Don't argue. Skip all that. Okay, honey. Remember those two words and have a happy life and a happy marriage. Right, back to the story. So, on the 5th of August 2015, I got to marry the girl of my dreams in Kelly. 
which means it's our three year anniversary tomorrow. So if you see us at the bar later, mine's a beer, the wife's is a G&T. Now what made our big day even more special was that both Andy and Cheryl joined us in Cyprus. Andy being my best man too. So picture the scene. We have just tied the knot. Most of the guests have boarded an open top bus that we'd planned as a surprise. Now Kelly and her flower girls were the last to get on as it's the traditional thing to throw the bouquet. Me and Andy are looking down at this point and all of a sudden, like an American basketball player playing for life or death, Cheryl leaps into the air to catch the bouquet and my first thoughts was... I instantly turned to Andy, who had this scared look in his face, and once again said to him, <laughs> Which brings us almost up to present day now. So about three months ago, in typical Andy Moody, better late than never fashion, he popped round to my house to ask me to be his best man. Of course, I was absolutely overwhelmed and instantly started to plan the stag do. With little time left, I opted for a weekend in Leeds. With just under a week to go before Leeds, I got a call from Andy and it went like this. Hello? So Leeds was scrapped and it was Ibiza, here we come. So together with Andy, myself, Matthew Bolter, Jamie Ward and Andy Mayo, we headed to Ibiza and had an amazing time together. Now back to reality, which brings us all here today to celebrate the wedding of Andy and Cheryl. You're an amazing couple and very dear friends and I'm so pleased you've tied them up today. And I'm sure I speak for each and every one when I say we are looking forward to the rest of the day and night as together we... So yes, here's to celebrating good times and many, many happy years together because I'm sure you'll all agree that today... Love is in the air. So, as I draw to an end of my pre-recorded speech, I'd like to ask you all to fill a glass and stand up as we toast to the all-new Mr. and Mrs. Moody. <laughs> <laughs>